Now to the latest on the pandemic in the tri-state area. New Jersey seeing a spike in cases while hospitalizations in New York are down. Governor Cuomo says hospitalizations fell to 586, an all-time low since March 17th. In New Jersey, the rate of transmission rose to 1.14 with more than 2,000 cases added over the last four days. And now hospitals are preparing. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live tonight in Hoboken with the story for us. Alice. Maurice, at least one North Jersey hospital is reporting zero COVID cases today. Most are using this lull to prepare for a possible resurgence, though, this fall. Nobody's sitting on their hands right now. Everybody is kind of anticipating a second wave. Everybody's frantically uh, uh, getting ready. Dr. Stavros Christudius says he's not surprised by the uptick in COVID cases in New Jersey since the heat is driving people indoors. Some of these house parties in New Jersey where people were breaking, uh, breaking the rules of having so many people indoors, you're going to end up with another wave. That's, that's I think, the powder keg, the, the match waiting to hit the powder keg in New Jersey. Today, Congressman Josh Gottheimer held a virtual roundtable with North Jersey health care officials, doctors, and nurses to find out what they need. We're finding uh, difficulty again in accessing uh, the appropriate types of PPE from different vendors. We need more availability of staff if there's a second wave. PPE is better, but not ideal. Um, testing is better, but not ideal. Specifically, they're asking for more reagents for testing. Here in Washington, what we're focused on is getting resources in this next coronavirus package to ensure a PPE, that they have the PPE. Right now in other parts of the country, they're, they're using a lot of the PPE because they have a lot of caseload. So we're going to be competing with other parts of the country. And what I'm concerned about is that's going to lead to a shortage of PPE. And so the question now is, can we get, can we spin up more being produced domestically, which many of us are pushing for. We also asked New York Governor Andrew Cuomo if numbers continued trending up in New Jersey, would he add the state to the quarantine list? I don't know how you could quarantine New Jersey. We don't, they don't fly into New York. Uh, you'd have to blockade roads, and we're not talking about blockading. We're going to keep our fingers crossed and work with them uh, to get the number down. Perhaps the biggest concern, though, staffing those hospitals trying to come up with plans now because other states are dealing with the COVID-19 crisis now. They would be unable to send help to our area should we need it like they did in months past. We're live in Hoboken tonight. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.